Hello everyone. This course is about graph theory, advanced algorithmics, and Python programming. Welcome. So, you want to learn more about these subjects? Perhaps you are a student in engineering and you want to strengthen your skill in these subjects. Perhaps you're a developer or an engineer who needs to prep for questions and interview. Or maybe you are an enthusiast about graphs, algorithmics, or programming. Whoever you are, we are very happy you have found your way here. My name is Vincent. My name is Patrick. My name is Nicolas. We are all researchers and teachers at the French engineering school EMT Atlantique in Brest and will be your instructors for this course. A few years ago, we worked together on a course on graph theory and algorithmics for students who had varying levels of understanding in these subjects. Some were more familiar with graph theory and fundamental aspects of algorithmics, others with programming with Python. To make a course that met all of their needs and that was not just about programming or giving abstract definitions, we designed classes around the challenge, playing a game in a maze. So, what do you get when you add Python programming to a rat, subtract boring and multiply it by amazing? Pirate, yes, just like the treasure hungry pirate, which is the maze game that we will be working with in this MOOC. So welcome to Pirate. Over the next six weeks, you will gradually cover more and more theory, including graph traversal, shortest paths, greedy algorithms, brute force search, complexity accuracy trade-offs, and so on. And these concepts will all be directly related to Pirate, the maze game. No need to install anything on your computer. Everything will take place on Jupyter Notebooks. Your programming work will be automatically analyzed and be counted towards your grade on edX. During this course, you will become familiar with the voice of our colleague Nia, who is here to illustrate more abstract concepts with real-world examples. Thank you, Nia. The course lasts six weeks and includes videos, quizzes, and one programming lab each week. For this, you will need to set aside two to three hours a week. The quizzes after each video will help you prepare for the labs and count towards a small part of your grade. We hope you enjoyed the course as much as we enjoyed teaching it. Please ask us any question along the way in the discussion groups. We are here to help you. Thank <laughs> you.